$20,000 for 45 minutes, says a VA Claims Insider coach who quit because it became unethical. There's an article by the Washington Post titled, Veterans Became Eligible for Billions. These firms saw a chance to profit. And that's the article we're really going to be going over. I am quoted in, in this article. I think that's freaking awesome. Okay. But this, Lisa Rain, the author, does a really, really good job at encapsulating the entire picture, talking about PACT Act, COVID-19, and the resources of VSOs going down, and resources of these claims facility companies increasing. It's all one story. It's all the same story, and that's what we're going to dive into today. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to read the whole thing. This is going to be pinned below in the pinned comments, but starting out, it talks about PACT Act, Okay. PACT Act, the one millionth claim was just approved. PACT Act has been working and it's going to continue to work. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. Now, the, the author throws a shot here and I, I would like to add more context. It says, and now a cadre of mostly Republican lawmakers is pushing to do away with restrictions altogether. A plan bankrolled by a well-funded industry group led by former high-ranking Trump administration VA official. That is one of the political problems with claims consulting companies. And just food for thought, no, I don't support Biden. No, I don't support Trump. I'm just going to give you the facts, all right? There's a gentleman, his name is O'Rourke. Peter O'Rourke was the VA secretary under the Trump administration. Once that ended, that he pretty much, he, he leads NAVR, okay? He's the leading figure for claims consulting companies, especially in the political sphere. So that's what she's referring to here. It's much, much more than that. But food for thought, um, if Trump is elected next year, this year, um, that's, 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 that's a factor to consider. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Now going down, it talks about employees with um, officials being charged five to 20 grand for your claim, right? We all know the charge of the claims consulting companies. That's really not what we're going to um, talk about here. Now, this piece is hilarious. VA Claims Insider is still hanging on that they are an education company, period. Now, the issue with that is the Texas Attorney General has proof where that's not the case. They are no longer an education company. They are a consulting firm, and there's proof of that. It's crazy to me, and I'm no lawyer. But it's crazy to me that they are still hanging on to the fact that they are an education company. All right. Um, their YouTube, yes, I would absolutely agree with, with, with their YouTube. But VA Claims Insider LLC based out of Austin, Texas, no, they are not an education co company. Okay. Not at all. Talks about free services by VSOs. We understand that. Now, this is super interesting, okay? Jim Hill, the co-founder of Trajector Medical, right? One of the claims consulting co companies, they specialize in medical evidence. Now, the issue with this, right? The interesting part of this, it says, but some current and former employees of the firm say they make unrealistic promises and embrace tactics that can put veterans' claims at risk. This is what I'm referring to whenever I say, hey, veterans, be careful, be careful about fudging your symptoms, fudging the numbers, even when you go through companies like this, okay? Especially if they are copy-paste type medical opinions or copy-paste type DBQs, because the OIG is looking into fraud, uh, fraud DBQs right now, okay? That came out in January, and Lisa Rain talks about that in the article. Then it goes on to say how incredibly savvy they are. Uh, the, the, these companies are savvy at like hi, hi, hiding their traces, hiding their footprint on these claims. And then um, there's a lady out of uh, sh Chicago School of Law says each company does it a little differently. It's not just giving consulting services. They're helping with medical evidence, with a claim, a ton of other stuff. All right. We all understand what these companies are doing. And then it even goes in to say that, hey, New York, New Jersey, Maine have banned these. And that's being led by the VFW. And who's caught in the middle? It's veterans. Okay. We are caught in the middle. Now, before I get stupid comments in my comment section. Okay. If you choose to go with the company, that's A-OK. -okay, 
all right, until the guard or plus act is passed, that is a okay. Unless you're in New York, Maine, or New Jersey, now it's illegal, right? Other than the, those three states, if you decide to do that, I'm not going to complain towards you at all. This is directed at the co companies because they are taking advantage of veterans. And we're going to dive into that a little bit more. Let's scroll down to um, the rush rollout really talks about how the PACT Act was just bam. Now, he, 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 here it is. Um, there's tons of claims that are going to fill the backlog. And now that's what we have to deal with. And look, look at this right here. You have a system right now that's very uneven and a chokehold around VA to process claims. It's just too much at one time. Who says this? That's me, Clayton Sims from Marine Who's YouTube channel. That's the link. It's the Civ Div teaches veterans about disability process. It's what makes veterans disgruntled. I want to add some context to this, okay? Because we're the ones caught in the middle. Veterans are are pissed off they're mad especially if their claim is denied not necessarily related to, to, to the pact act pact acts easy peasy meet the time criteria and low, 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 low location get the current diagnosis you have the nexus easy peasy but it's all the other claims that are denied then you see an ad on facebook right targeting my people right all of us we are the audience i look at these ads and i'm telling you these ads are pretty good Hey, are you stuck at 90%? We can get you 100% in three months or less guaranteed. You're like, heck yeah, I want to do that, right? And so it's a weird situation that we have to deal with. And yes, veterans are paying anywhere from five to 20 grand. I've seen a charge of over 22,000 just for increased claims, all right? And so that's, that's the situation that veterans are faced with. Today, to be honest with you, it's not going to change until the PLUS Act or the GUARD Act is passed. All right. If the PLUS Act pa passes, I'll shut up about, about it. But till then, I'm not going to. Now, this is where the um, complaints of VA Claims Insider and Veterans Guardian really start coming into play here. And so Bill Taylor, um, i.e. Veterans Guardian, was at Bra uh, Fort Bragg, now Lit Liberty. He got out and he said there's a gap here. He saw the gap and he co-founded Veterans Guardian. Boom. There we go. Now Veterans Guardian is one of the leading um, companies in the industry right behind VA Claims Insider. I would personally put VA Claims Insider as top number one and Veterans Guardian as number two. Okay. So those are your two mamma jammas. And of course, there are your others like Veteran Benefits Guide and all the other companies. But these are the two big ones. Okay. Now scrolling down, but there is a cost. Clients sign contracts that bind them to pay a one-time sum equal to five times. Yep, five times the increase. That's what they go. That's what Veterans Guardian goes off of. VA Claims Insider is six times the increase. In ads, the company suggests that veterans prioritize the easiest claims. Now, why would that? Now, why would they do that? Because they know they could win. It's one of the predatory practices of these companies. That's my opinion. But in a recent YouTube video, VA Claims Insider founder Brian Reese, our boy OBR over here, shares the top health conditions that regularly qualify biggest disability uh, compensation payments for post-traumatic stress disorder. I want to tell you something. There's a reason she's she's pointing towards mental health right now, okay? And she's about to bring up the OIG report that talks about fraudulent uh, DBQs, and she's about to bring up the copy and paste um, method a lot of these companies are using. For instance, me and you, whoever, whoever you are watching this, if we both file PTSD, we should not have the same stressor. We should not have the same statements. Our evidence, which is extremely unique, builds the nexus. So that's what she's implying here. She's setting the stage, about to go into it. Let's go ahead and look. Or at least that's what I think she's doing, okay? Now, many clients hand over social security numbers and passwords. I've had a lot of people refute this and say it's not true, but the Texas Attorney General has proof of this happening. So I guess they'll see VA claims insider in court, okay? Because there is proof that that happens. Now, it talks about the um, coronavirus. So COVID-19 forced the accred accreditation companies to shut the doors. That's essentially when PACT Act emerged, when these disability companies emerged, and then the online presence 
and online tar targeting of veterans have emerged. And so it's all related. Okay. It's closely, closely correlated. See, there we go. Talk about the PACT Act. Let's go down. So business was so good at trajectory, right? So good with more than a thousand employees and 50,000 clients. The companies told the Securities Exchange Commission in late 21 that it planned to go public. The filing showed $127 million in revenue in the previous 18 months. Nice, right? Nice. All right. The association that represents accredited lawyers, though, says the fees that are legally permitted to charge are significantly lower. So now we're talking about accreditation, accredited lawyers, that some tactics the lawyers use are the same that these company uses. I would say that's a stretch because lawyers are um, bound by ethics. They're bound by law. OK, they're essentially referring to um, additional medical evidence. All right. VA officials have told Congress that they conduct rigorous due diligence with the claims agents they accredit. In the past three years, the agency has moved or suspended accreditation of nearly 15,000 attorneys, claims agents, and veteran service groups representatives. So again, the resources are dwindling down. All right. I really want to talk about false promises here, and this will be the, the, the end of this video. At times, though, the for-profit claims industry did not live up to its promises, right? So, yes, these companies do help veterans, but there are tons of veterans that they absolutely destroy. Seriously, they absolutely de de destroy them with disastrous consequences for some veterans, okay? Former employees of the unaccredited industry say it prioritizes profits and volume over helping vet veterans. Duh, they are a business. They want money, okay? I was charging veterans $20,000. Listen to this. I was charging veterans $20,000 who I potentially spent 45 minutes on the phone with, said a former coach at VA Claims Insider who quit last spring because he felt the job had become unethical. $20,000 for 45 minutes, says a VA Claims Insider coach who quit because it became unethical. Take that in for a second, okay? $20,000. We're probably talking increased claims I had, to, I had to, if I had to guess. No denials, no secondaries, nothing that's actually difficult. Just saying, hey, what are you rated for? Talk, talk to me about your symptoms. All right, here's a $20,000 20, bill, you know? Holy baloney. He spoke on the condition of anonymity anim because he's... He's afraid that VA Claims Insider is going to call, um, call, call him out, okay? Which he called a veteran mill with most contacts handled by a contract employee in the Philippines. It was sales in a sense, and that's where it got sketchy. That's the issue. When money is involved, morals and ethics go out the window, okay? And this person, Christopher Borum, worked for Veterans Guardian. If the companies are doing well, things get over. Look, it's about money at the end of the day. It's about money at the end of the day. It was a cut and paste system. Here we go. This is probably the most important piece of this entire article, in my opinion. It was a cut and paste system. A former manager at VA Claims Insider said the medical letters, which can cost up to extra, an extra $1,500 across the industry, Veterans are steered toward filing claims for mental health ailments for which VA tends to award generous ratings. There's a few reasons to that as well. And it really digs down into the OIG report of January. And it's a mess, right? We have a cut and paste system where now veterans are claiming mental health because they know the right things to say. Now they have a private provider who, by the way, just happens to be the wife uh, VA Claims Insider. Okay, here we go. VA Claims Insider, the wife of its founder that promises, there we go, right there, right? They'll, those three factors right here, cut and paste system, medical le letters, um, mental health, and the fact that there's a conflict of interest there is, is no bueno, okay? It is not good at all. And that's 
I'm going to link this below. Okay. There's, there's a lot more to this article. You decide for yourself. Do you support claims consulting companies or do you not? Right. Make that decision for yourself. Do you think the plus act should be passed, but they should only be able to charge the same amount as agents and attorneys? You know, let, let me know your thoughts in this. Me personally, I'm a full on guard, guard act type per person. I could compromise if there were, um, you know, unaccredited officials who just abided by the same guidelines of agents and attorneys. I could get down with that personally. So no initial claims, no BED claims, um, really just appeals, right? Denials. But that's all I have. I'll have this link in the below in the pinned comments. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm about to bring my children to the Arlington National Cemetery. It's one of the beauties of living in the National Capital Region. So have a good weekend. Celebrate and remember.